Hey y'all, so I thought I had in the group a um, video showing how to size for the nameplate using Design Space. I thought I did. I, I didn't see it, but anyway, here, here we go. I just posted some information um, showing how to size the nameplate based on the size of the earring. So let's, let me do it in here as well so I will have it for the um, group so once you get your um, name type out and your shadow layer made for your nameplate for your earrings if you're in the group I mean if you're in design space Make sure both of them are on top of each other and you don't have one over here and then you try to size it separately because you need to size both of them at the same time. And I'm going to make this big so you can still see it. So you can see it good, I mean. So you want to make sure you slide over to zero and just, just for the sake of this video, let's say the earrings were... 18 inch earrings you want to make sure you size both of these at the same time for your name plates and if you get a little confused let's say I'm gonna zoom in and then I'm gonna make it a regular a normal size so let's go with the width for 2.5 and you look on the screen like, oh, that looks so little that it looks tiny, but it's actually the right size. Sometimes what you see on the screen will throw you off. So in that case, you want to come over and let's get a circle. And let me make a duplicate and I'm going to make it white so you can see what I'm doing. And just place it right over that circle. And then I'm just going to take this circle and decrease it a little bit. And place it right in the center and then I'm just going to slice that out so now let's make this circle 3.5 inch let's say you was you were going to make some 3.5 inch earrings you have the earring in front of you and that's what it measured 3.5 if this right if doing this right here will help you then do it this way so you see over here at zero from zero to here is 3.5 inch so now you can make sure this goes to the back and you take your nameplate and you place it over there over the um, earring and you come up to width and you put put in 3.5 if you have a longer name sometimes then it will thin it out it will be let's say just it had just as had three more letters in it then 3.5 would probably make it like that just say it had a, another e E on the end of it or whatever it had just extra letters the longer the name the smaller the plate will be or look on the earring so with that being said you can make it the width of the earring so let's go back up here and make 3.5 you can make the plate the width of the earring so let's say if justice was longer it would probably look let me step back If justice was longer when you stretched it out it would probably look like this on the earring a little sh shorter so what you would do is make sure you got the width stays on the width of the earring 3.5 now some people I know they like their stuff to go over the earring and that's fine if they if that's what they want but just for basics we're gonna stay with 
the width of the earring which is 3.5 so make sure that's in there 3.5 for the width and for the height you just come up here unlock it if you want to make it a little bit taller you can do that to fit over more of the earring you can do that but always once you change that make sure you go back and put that on 3.5 and then lock it and then with this I had it group then you ungroup it and while I'm here let me show you this if you want to if you just want to make um a whole car start stock earring you can do that from here too you just make a duplicate of let me turn this off because we're not using it you can make a duplicate of all of this make a duplicate unlock or ungroup it's already ungrouped yes it's already ungrouped make sure you have this where you want it select all of that and weld now this is your base this would be your base for your earring this this would be an all cardstock earring you can make a circle make that white Is it where you think now you can use your guides and stuff for this I just eyeball everything when I'm doing it in here you can use guides and stuff because I don't just I really don't design in here but simple little stuff I can show you how to do in here so you could place that over there over where you think center is and then slice that out so then we can I already welded it so let me un let me um slice this that way you can just duplicate you don't have to do it twice and end up with two different placements for your um hole so you can duplicate that and now you have the base for your earrings so you could do these in pink you could do this. Move these to the front. You could do these in blue. Whatever color you want, you could mix match. You could do purple whatever you can cut it in whatever you want to cut it in you could also use these to do um print and cut you can pull in photos of roses or whatever whatever you might have let me let me see if i can pull one in real quick let me pause this so you upload your image after you find the image that you want to work with you go and um save it to your computer and then hit upload and then hit complex hit continue continue make sure you want to save it as a print then cut image then hit upload then find the image you want to work with maybe it's one maybe it's two so let's use I don't think I'm gonna use these two and now this one and this one not that one insert images okay so we're gonna have this as the well it's all choppy so let's get another one Let's get let's get this one. So we're gonna have this for the background. 
And if you want both of them to be the same, then both of the earrings, then I got to do one at a time. If you want them both to be the same, I don't like this color. Let me do it this way. You can set the picture up however you want to do it. I'll just, I'm fidgeting with it. Slice. So if you want them both to have the exact same color, then you already know that you'll duplicate. So you will have that. Let's get rid of that. We don't need that anymore. So same thing with, let's cut these off for now. We don't need them. Same thing with this. Don't change any sizing. Just put that where you want it. Send that to the back if that helps you. Um, figure out how you want this. And then slice. So then you're going to get rid of that. Get rid of that. Now you have that. And you duplicate it. And you could do a darker color. This is just to show you how you can do. Um, you could use this template not only just for cutting card style. You could do it as a printing cut template as well. So let's say you don't want to use that glitter. You can... You can turn this back to um, a basic basic cut and then make it black. Same thing with this. Basic cut, make it black. And then you're going to have to flatten that to make it a print then cut. And flatten that to make it a print then cut. But make sure you have it um, fixed just right. Or the um, outline but if you're gonna flatten it you make sure you let's do control Z to step back control Z to step back before you flatten it let's make a duplicate and let's group that duplicate and cut it off that way you can come back and work with it as just an um, a layered file because once you flatten it's flat once you flatten and save, I don't think you can come back and undo that flatten. So now you can flatten these two. And now you have print then cut earrings. If you want the same thing on the back, then you just duplicate that. And you um, horizontal flip it. And then you hit make. Which it will get, it'll, for them being that big, it will only let you print two. For this size, I really, really wish they would give us this extra room to print and cut stuff. But yes, you could do it like that, or you can keep this flipped and group. Oh, the, okay. You can print and cut the first two, and then you can come back and turn these into. Well, you see now, you can unflatten it as long as it's still here. You can turn these into um, basic cuts, which you would have to, let's see, you won't need these for the basic cut. You can turn this into basic cuts and then just cut them out of gold, cardstock, glitter, foil, whatever, or any one of these colors in here. You can do it however you want to do it. It's totally up to you. And you know you would use, if you wanted to make it with layers, even if it's print and cut, just group and duplicate this. And you make these into a basic cut. And you would cut them out of black cardstock, white cardstock, these two out of black cardstock, white cardstock, whatever. Same thing with this. You could just use these. And make as many duplicates as you need. I hope this helps you with the sizing. And I gave you a little bit extra too. So I hope this helps you. If you have any more questions. Just comment below the video. Or ask within the group.